Bug Bounty Life Hunting Part 2, Linked JavaScript Discovery. And we're back with a live Rackon session today. And as in the first episode, we're going to thank Visma one more time. Visma delivers software that simplifies and digitizes core business process in the private and public sector. And they're allowing us to hack on their public program hosted on Integrity. And if we look at their in-scope section, it says vulnerabilities in any of the Visma services, product or web properties can be reported to their responsible disclosure program, but those reports do not qualify for the Bug Bunny program. We can still report them, and this is why we're having a look. Big shout out and thanks, as in the first episode goes out one more time to Chase and Haddix and his Bug Hunters Methodology V4, Recon Edition. I'm using all my inspiration from his work. Once again, thank you so much. Big shout out, check out his work. And we're starting with Burp Suite Linked Discovery Crawling. A little hats up first, this only works if you have the professional edition of Burp Suite, but don't worry, we'll have some more tools coming up in this video that are for free. And we're picking one of our domains that we've collected in the first episode. We're going to use bocamera.se. And if we hit that, into our URL bar in our browser, we see the page loading. And if we head over to Burp Suite and we go and check out the, the links that it has collected in its sitemap tab, we already see some Bocamera entries. What we can do though to make this more visible is we can use the target scope and we add a little regex that only shows us Bocamera domains. We're going to hit OK. Yes, and then we're going back and we go to say, show only items that are in scope. And if we do that, we'll see that only two items are left that both are related to bocamera.se. And now we're going to use the scanner and we're going to say, crawl those two domains and we just hit the okay button. And we immediately see some new domains coming in. We see that the crawler is running and this way we can get additional domains. But let's head back. Now we have selected two that we're crawling. We can select the new ones as well and do the very same thing again and also crawl them. So let's just repeat our action from right now and let's go back, stop the first crawling engine and hop over to crawl four items. And this way you can keep going until you've found many, many, many subdomains. All right, this is how you can use Burp to get some subdomains. Let's head over and look at Hack Crawler, which is a linked discovery crawling tool. It is for free, so download it, link is in the description, and let's see how we can use that tool. So we're using that, that is a Go tool, so we have to use our terminal, and we're going to say echo HTTPS bocamera.se, which is our initial domain that we're using to search subdomains for, we just pipe it to hack crawler and say minus subs. And we do see that there's like a million of domains being spit out, but that is a little bit too much and they're not all Bocamera related. So we're going to clear our sc screen. And now we say, let's use pipe this whole output into unfurl, a tool by Tom Nom Nom, also linked down in the description, minus minus unique domains. And what we do see right now is that we only get unique subdomains and domains, which, which is exactly what we want to have but not all of those are having Bocamera. So now we just grab that output one more time. You probably know it already. Um, we say, uh, grab Bocamera, and now we only have every URL and subdomain that belongs to Bocamera. Copy all of those and put them in your file that we have previously created in episode one, where we're going to store all our subdomains. All right. So are you wondering right now how you can run all those scans and tests without actually disclosing your IP address? Well, it's super easy. Just use Privado's VPN solution. It comes with secure streaming from anywhere. It connects automatically. It allows faster P2P transfers. And of course, it has a serial lock policy. And if you sign up right now with my link that I show you down in the bottom, you got the 12 month plan for just two year and 50 cents a month. That is by far the best deal if it comes to VPN providers out there that you can find. And 
you get unlimited data, servers in more than 59 cities, 10 connections in parallel, and much more. Make sure to sign up now and get yourself Privado VPN. Let's move on. Of course, we're having more tools we're going to have a look at in today's session. And now we're going to look at Go Spider, which is once again a linked discovery crawling tool. Also written in Go, hence the name Go Spider. We're once again using our terminal and saying Go Spider minus S, and we're using our domain that we want to search subdomains for. So bocamera.se minus minus subs. And we're getting a, an output that is not really easy to read, easy to use. So we're going to use it in its JSON format. So GoSpider has an option to say minus minus JSON, where we can read and get the output in JSON. And then we can use the tool JQ to make it a little better visible for us, better readable. And now we're getting this output. And we do see that the interesting stuff for us right now is in a JSON parameter called output. So what we can do with JQ is we can just simply say, okay, only list this every output field in that JSON. And this is how we get all the subdomains one more time. Nice and easy. We can then go ahead one more time and copy and paste them to the file that we have created in our first episode of this series. Next up, we have Subdomainizer, Subdomainizer, which is a JavaScript analysis tool. So that does, does look at the JavaScript and analyzes it for, once again, subdomains, but also passwords and secrets. This one is a Python tool, so we're going to run Python 3 subdomainizer.py minus u, and after that, we fire in our domain, bocamera.se, and we run the tool. And what the tool is doing is it goes over the inline JavaScript. It successfully gets all the inline scripts. It searches for external JavaScript links in page. It searches for secrets, cloud URLs, subdomains, and more in all the JavaScript files. And what we see is that we get a number of subdomains being spit out by the tool, but also a couple of secrets. We're storing the subdomains first in our file, but we're also getting a secret. Now it would be, would be up to you to analyze that secret and see if it's actually of value to you. All right, then this is the end of our results. Cool. This was a great insight in our part two of the series into how to get further subdomains. Next up in line, we're having an episode three, another interesting insights in subdomain scraping. So make sure to check out the next video as well. In the meantime, check out the links down below that lead you to all those crazy and cool tools that we had a look at today. And yeah, leave me some comments, leave me a like, this is important to me. And also as usual, subscribe to the channel in the top right corner. And I will talk to you folks soon.